Welcome to my channel. This story was penned by Altcheck at Insider.com and Business Insider Jamie Dimon wrote a memo to JP Morgan staff condemning the assassination attempt on Trump. The CEO said people should unite against violence and engage in constructive dialogue. Dimon joins other big names on Wall Street and the business world in calling for unity after the shooting. The attempted assassination of former President Trump drew quick responses from lawmakers and business leaders, including J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon. Dimon joined the list of CEOs who spoke out against the shooting with a company-wide email to employees sent Sunday, which B.I. confirmed. Dimon wrote his message on behalf of the entire leadership team at the company and said his thoughts were with former President Trump and his family, along with the families of the victims of the attack. He also took a moment to send a message about unity and taking a strong stance against any acts of hate, intimidation or violence that undermine democracy or cause harm to others. It is only through constructive dialogue that we can tackle our nation's toughest challenges, Diamond wrote in the memo. Diamond, who has donated to Democratic candidates in the past, praised Trump's policy record earlier this year in an interview. He credited the former president for growing the economy and being kind of right about NATO, kind of right on immigration as well as China. He also said that he wishes the Democrats would think a little more carefully when they talk about MAGA. Diamond's Sunday message about constructive dialogue and unity against political violence was echoed by several other business and tech leaders, as well as big names on Wall Street. Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon said in an earnings call Monday that, we cannot afford division and distrust to get the better of us. Sundar Pichai wrote on X that political violence is intolerable and everyone should come together against it. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink said Monday on CNBC that the shooting was a tragedy and Americans need to discuss divisions and bring our community together. Citibank CEO Jane Fraser also sent a letter to employees Monday saying she hoped the events would cause everyone to rethink their words and tone down the rhetoric so we can have a more civil discourse, according to a Yahoo Finance report. The political violence and the assassination attempt on former President Trump last evening deeply saddened us. On behalf of our entire leadership team, our thoughts today are with the former president, his family, and the families of those who were tragically injured and killed. We must all stand firmly together against any acts of hate, intimidation, or violence that seek to undermine our democracy or inflict harm. Only through constructive dialogue can we tackle our nation's toughest challenges. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. If you would like to support my channel please send it to Cash App, Dollar Director 327 it is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.